All right, hello everyone. I'm Mr. Paz. Hello, I'm Mr. Martin, and today um, I will be showing you our online lesson plan for our soccer unit. It's for dribbling and target shooting. It's the key concept and theme. The overview of this lesson is that students will practice their dribbling and target slash shooting skills in a drill activity and then use those skills in a learning activity. Let's see the rationale of this lesson plan. So learning dribbling and target slash shooting skills in a kicking unit provides students with a well-rounded skill set that can benefit them in various sports and physical activities, as well as in their personal development. It promotes physical fitness, teamwork, decision-making, and self-confidence. These are the standards that we will be using throughout our lesson. These are the California academic content standards listed below are the standards that we use throughout the lesson. Same thing with our ELD standards. They're all here. The objectives slash learning targets that we will meet or students will meet during and throughout this lesson are that students should be able to demonstrate the correct cues for dribbling during a drill and learning activity. Students should be able to identify three cues for dribbling and students should be able to show good sportsmanship and reflect on their skills. Some of the academic language that we are gonna use for this lesson is dribbling, shooting, inside and outside of the foot, close control, accuracy, and precision. So the way our lesson is gonna be set up and what it's gonna look like is, so the intro or the anticipatory set is, it's gonna start with the warm up. It's gonna start with the light warm up to prepare students for physical activity. It's gonna have them jog around the playing area or whatever space they have. Uh, they're gonna perform dynamic stretches and follow simple warm up exercises. After that, they're gonna watch a dribbling video, which is located in Google Classroom. It should be roughly about five minutes long. They're also gonna watch a shooting video, which is also on Google Classroom. It should be another five minutes long. After they finish watching both those videos, they're gonna start their skill practice. First, they're gonna be doing a dribbling practice, which should take about 10 minutes. Um, these are the instructions right below them. They're gonna set up a series of cones or markers in a zigzag pattern. Doesn't have to be cones or markers. They can be whatever objects they have. Um, they can, they're gonna dribble through a set of cones or, or markers with the soccer ball for two to three minutes. They're gonna use their right and left foot, inside and outside of foot and close control. Uh, make sure to record yourself doing those um, skills. You're going to upload the, that recording on Google Classroom uh, for us to assess your skill and give you a grade on those skills. You're also going to do target shooting practice, which should also take about 10 minutes. The way it's going to look like is you're going to set up a goal using cones or markers, or like I said, whatever you have. Create a 10 feet space between the goal and the area that you will be shooting and you're gonna to shoot towards the goal for about two to three minutes. Make sure to look for accuracy and precision. That's, that's what we're gonna be looking for and that's what you should be focusing on. And same thing as the last skill practice, you're gonna record this skill, record it on video and upload it to your Google Classroom so you can get credit for that skill practice. Uh, the closure, what it's gonna look like is it's gonna be a five minute cool down. At the end of the lesson, you're gonna we're gonna end off with the cool down session uh, we're going to have students walk or jog around and then obviously whatever area they have and then perform static stretches to relax their muscles that they've used throughout the lesson. Uh, they're also going to do a journal entry. This should take about roughly five minutes. They're going to answer questions for the day. Um, they're listed right below. After you complete that, actually that assignment's on Google Classroom. So you're going to go on Google Classroom and find that assignment and answer those questions for you to get credit. Then, as a reminder, make sure to upload your videos in Google Classroom, get that credit, and the assessments for this lesson is, the formative assessment is going to be that journal entry. Summative assessment is going to be those video uploads, which is also a performance assessment. Make sure you turn those in, get that credit. Uh, the plan for literacy development is, so the lesson will be organized into sections in Google Classroom to where the agenda and learning objectives will be included in a written document. Journal entries will be required at the end of the lesson. Uh, the plan slash modifications for students with special needs, the way it's gonna look like is, obviously Google Classroom is accessible to all students. The equipment will be modified to lighter balls, allowing students to use hockey sticks rather than kicking the ball. 
allowing students to do do it with a peer or a aid and allow students to walk or use wheelchairs during the activity and also implementing larger goals. If they have that, or if you have that as accessible, go ahead and use it to your advantage. And now on to the Google Classroom slide, I will hand it off to Mr. Bus. All right, so for the program that we use for this online lesson is Google Classroom. So if you see on my screen that we organize our Google Classroom through sections. So the first section you'll see once you cop on is our learning objectives. And it's gonna be on a document uh, with the learning objectives we will contain on the document. I'm gonna click on that. Um, you wanna, so when you view the document, um, you will see the learning objective, the purpose of the lesson and the state of the agenda. Now going on to the agenda, same thing. You'll find the agenda uh, for the lesson on this document over here as well. And then we have our two dribbling video, uh, two videos that you guys will need to um, watch um, during the lesson. The first one is the dribbling video. You will have find it down here. And then you have the shooting video that you find it on here. There's two videos that we find on YouTube that will break down the two skills that you need to perform um, during the during the main activity. And then also below that, if you want more information on um, dribbling, we included an article to kind of break down the steps uh, step by step on how to drill a soccer ball. Um, for those that you know want to read and kind of enhance their knowledge on the skill to be able to help them throughout the activity. And then below that, we have the whole lesson plan that Mr. Martin just went over. Um, we included a document um, so you guys could better understand and do well in the lesson. And we kind of just gave you guys the breakdown of the lesson in, in this video. And then finally, we have our journal entry um, with our short uh, we're going to require you guys to do short answer responses. We have three questions. What went well today? And what is one thing you can improve on next, for next time? Um, what are the correct cues for dribbling and shooting a soccer ball? And then finally, what, what was the most challenging part of the activity? You will need to submit it on to Google Classroom. Then we have the self-upload section um, where you have to submit your dribbling video where you'll be dribbling the ball to those cones or markers in the space that you have. And then you also have your upload section of the shooting video where you'll be shooting um, towards the goal for two to three minutes um, and upload it here as well. And then finally, we have our closure section at the end. We kind of review what was taught um, on the document. It checks if the, you check if the objectives were met. And it was just a quick reminder to do assignments and also gives you a quick preview of the next lesson. So the closure kind of just wraps up the whole lesson as a whole. And you'll be able to find all this on our Google Classroom step by step. So as long as you follow each tab going down, you should be successful um, in our in our lesson and get full credit. Thank you. Thank you.